My grandfather said when you're out there to remember that you're part of the Hahothi and you, you treat that Hahothi with respect. I became a coastal guardian because I'm familiar with the ocean, and the land I grew up around here. It's a need other than a want. Our guardians will have a responsibility of educating people that come to visit our territory and access the resources. The Nature Conservancy's project in the Emerald Edge is focused on the indigenous people and the local communities that call this place home. We do marine patrols to make sure there's no illegal poaching or illegal fishing, um, just because the ocean, it, it's, it's our livelihood. When I'm out on the, on the boat on the water, I feel connected to the ocean. We'll see seals, sea lions, whales, gray wolves on the rocks. My teachings where you take what you need. Once you have enough for your family, you don't fish anymore. In some ways, the coastal guardians are really the modern expression of how uh, the people have taken care of the land and water forever. TNC is helping us move forward into having more uh, say and input on how we want to manage the territories. And it's important that we work alongside TNC and educate them about our territory and the roles and responsibilities of our hereditary chiefs. We maintain the trails, we uh, clear the bushes and trees that are dangerous to them when they're hiking up the mountain. I share the stories with kayakers, campers, that this is a house, it's Hahothi, it's our territory. The long-term goal is to continue to maintain and monitor our land and, and our beaches and our waters to ensure that it's being looked after properly. My hope? My dreams is that, uh, that it does expand, it does grow, and until I'm old. I believe we live in the best part of the world.